battle over reproductive rights is one of the key issues in America right now. And it has some warning uh, history that it could repeat itself if liberal Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor doesn't step down. Uh, uh, look. <laughs> Here's what political commentator Mendy Hassan's his warning. Take a look. I have PTSD from 2020. I think the Democrats didn't learn lessons. Look, what are we talking about? Abortion rights. How did that happen? Dobbs. How did the Florida decision happen today? DeSantis appointed five of the seven judges. Republicans are very good at stacking courts, at getting their people on courts, at stinking strategically about filling courts. Democrats aren't very good at seeing the power of the Supreme Court. And that's why I worry. I worry that why would you want to repeat history? Why take the risk? You have a Democratic president and a Democratic Senate, and you have a justice who's about to turn 70. So, just... Because I'm going to ask this. Why, what's, you're why, annoyed, but what are you annoyed with? I'm annoyed yeah. that he's not saying, hey, why do we still have Clarence Thomas on yes. the court, whose <laughs> wife was uh, implicit well, in trying to, to turn over the election? That's Listen, true. there are, I've always said this about the Supreme Court. Supremes get on the court and they evolve. Sometimes it takes some time, but you think of Frank Footer, yeah. who evolved. All of these Supreme the Court justices. Does, does they, it does, and they yeah. do evolve because their job is not to make the law. Yeah. Their yeah. job is to look at the law and figure out how it could be working better. This guy, to go out, to go for Justice Sotomayor, who we know her thoughts. We don't always agree with them, but we know her thoughts, and she's a thoughtful yeah. person. We don't know <laughs> some of these other folks, and getting her off doesn't mean somebody else is going to get on and be better. So what is his point? There are people who should be gone because they're not doing what I think they should have done. Clarence Thomas should have recused himself. Yeah. He shouldn't be sitting Maybe there. you and I can chip in and pay for a cruise for him. Maybe. <laughs> well, but a Ted Cruz? No. Just, I had to do just to defend <laughs> Medi a bit, he did call for Clarence Thomas to recuse from January 6th. He's very progressive. I think he's... He and I I'm don't sure agree. he is, but this is not... This, for me... Yeah. I did not want to hear this. I want you to talk about getting the people well, my, who are not doing their job. My thing with this is I don't, that actually 70 to me seems pretty young for her. And well, it I'm is sure. pretty I young. I was struck by that. But the subtext here, I think Betty and 69. I don't agree on a single thing, but he's one of the smarter progressive minds. And I think liberal uh, liberals looking at the political system right now. Yeah. And he is awake to the fact that Donald Trump could very much win re-election. And I think that there's a lot of Democrats who are a bit asleep to that. And it's there's this kind of fear of, well, it's the Nikki Haley Republicans who are going to lose this for Joe Biden. I don't think so. I think a lot are going to go for Biden. I think there's a real fear that progressive leftists are actually going to not turn out. Well, if they, listen, and if that's, if that's their reasoning, oh. then they have to do what they have to do. If that's the country they want, with you know who in charge listen yeah. i appreciate people's opinions i like them it's it's fine but for me this was a slap a to a 69 year old woman yeah yeah because you're acting like she you know she's got she's got an issue you got an issue with her so she should go i say get rid of the people who aren't doing their job democrats we don't stack the we don't stack the court we don't. We don't do that. A lot of us wanted him to do that, but he won't do that because that's not how you run the government. That's his feeling. Now, not you, <laughs> but Republicans, many Republicans on the other side were fine with the shenanigans that went on to stack the court. Well, they stole about but, two well, seats. They, well, let's, yeah, let's, they did. Let's point that out. In the well, other. I was waiting for you. Looking at the women in the view, they're talking about Suto Mayor, and which is one of the, it's a Libra, um, she's in one of the high court judge in the Supreme Court. She's been there for 15 years and they wanted her to step down for the abortion right not to be, in, if, the, if she don't step down, they are going to pass the abortion right, like no committed abortion. But if she does not step down, the right is going to be there. They are going to, um, like, input and um, implant that law basically for women to give birth, and basically for women not to commit abortion. Basically, they claim that she's been there for a while and she's old. She cannot really um 
reason so she cannot really function while the women in the view did not find her funny because if you they talk about that if you want to look at president Bina, which is old also president Bina is old it's maybe more than that age and he's still a president and he has been there for a while so according to the whoopie that's a slap on their face that's a mighty slap on their face and it's never been allowed in any way in such a scenario then also looking at um the women the women in the view did not really accept with that looking at president donald trump was the president before he too is old and even now he still want to be a, the president of the united states so who is against that they don't know why they are behaving like that and they are very wrong for every action that they are seeing they cannot just be saying anyhow to anyone like that and that if they even want to talk about that why can they look about clearance step down they should look as clearance thomas um clearance thomas and the wife which illegal not come they say they are not guilty they are the ones that they have always been accused that they are guilty um they're dealing with um illegal activities and which is not very sure um the clearance thomas have been accused many times and who say that if they have not removed clearance thomas they cannot come out to come out because they are wrong for that so till they go to clearance thomas before they can come and say anything but clearance thomas basically is that one that is just there and he's a friend to president donald trump he's the one that um is just have been accused of so many illegal activities they never came out to say anything and everybody is just stay quiet according to whoopi that is not allowed that if clarence thomas will not come and speak out they will not speak out also basically the election is coming and everyone is worried um that president Biden really need to come out and do a lot of um talking a lot of publicity because usually that's always always say that the people even need to see here and here and here the fog news is there like the republicans are on the first first on the fog news every day putting selling out themselves they say basically democrats need to come out also um president Biden need to do better and come out and say himself out also if not so then whoopi went ahead and say that um basically the people already know who to vote for the people will decide as he always said it the people will decide who they want to vote for they can see it for themselves and they will make the right choice because she doesn't even believe on pulling as she always said it she believed that on that day whoever those people vote for is the one that's going to be the president so she's encouraging the people to go out and vote what do you really think let me see your opinion in the comment section does she really warn all this that they should pull her out of her seat to implant such a law let me see your opinion in the comment section thank you very much for watching if you have not subscribed please help subscribe and help share the video god bless you